snap we're back with the normal snap video as today ladies and gentlemen today we're gonna spice it up and i'm gonna bring you guys one of the most fun decks i played in i honestly can't remember as you guys can see we've climbed uh, we were around 1000 and now we're at 616 and a portion of this climb not the entirety of it but a chunk of it is surprisingly do this surfing's a gambit is a combo deck built around gambit and as an alternative win condition, Silver Surfer. As you guys can see, we have a high density of three drops, and we only have one two drop that we actually are not supposed to play. So let me uh, let me break this down. This is an incredibly greedy deck, but fundamentally, it's at its core, it functions the same way as the Living Tribunal deck, right? It is doing the same thing, combining Sarah with Onslaught, but the difference is we're taking an aggressive approach instead of trying to just completely dominate our opponent with points with living tribunal and iron man we are aiming to quite simply delete their board and you'd be surprised at how consistent this deck can be at doing that keep in mind any sort of deck with like control tools especially those with like daredevil and professor x are going to be awful matchups but you'd be surprised at how many decks running around right now just focus on their own thing examples are obviously the likes of hella which is perhaps the biggest reason why I wanted to make this deck to begin with, but also uh, Nimrod decks, which have been really popular as of late because they tend to match up well against Loki and uh, a bunch of other decks that are very, very proactive and don't have the right tech tools to stop what we're doing because it may seem like we have a very frail game plan and it is to an extent, but our Wong itself is not particularly vulnerable. And that is because of, of the way this deck plays out. So what we want to do is we want to play Sarah and Onslaught. We want to have Sarah and Onslaught on the same location as then all of our cards will cost two less. And then we get to pop off with some obscene combos. But there are some alternative uh, ways of playing. We can also utilize Onslaught alongside Wong. We can go Onslaught Mystique and then Wong into a reveal effect for an insane amount of procs. If you... Just so you guys know, like, for example, with, with Silver Surfer, if you have Onslaught and then you have Sarah, but you don't have them on the same uh, on the same location, but you've played Magic and it's turn seven, you can play three energy, two energy, two energy. So what you can do is in a location where Onslaught is alone, you can play Mystique to copy Onslaught. So in, in this particular scenario, like this is a, a game in which we played Magic either turn three or turn four. We've Sarah on five and then we onslaught on six, right? This, this is a specific scenario that's, uh, I'm, I'm explaining it because there are different ways of piloting this deck. It's not like an autopilot sort of build. You have to ad adjust to the matchup, the locations at hand, what you think the opponent can do to stop you. But there are situations, there are games in which you will reach this scenario, uh, in which you, like I said, magic on turn three or four, you Sarah on five, you onslaught on six, then you play Mystique on the onslaught location, you copy onslaught, with Mystique, so Mystique becomes Onslaught as well. Then you develop Wong, and then you play either Surfer or Gambit, and you're gonna have 12, 12 procs happening with your Unreal effect, which with Gambit translates into 12 dead bodies. With Silver Surfer, it translates into plus two to all three costs 12 times. And let me tell you something, that's, uh, that's pretty hard to beat. <laughs> like, that is insane. That it, this deck is is one of those that has just like the highest of ceilings and it's absolutely just so fun to play because unlike Living Tribuna, which you just, I mean, Living Tribuna can also be fun, I get it, but it does have a more linear game plan in that regard. With this, it's about just like deleting what your opponent is doing or just coming from behind and just unleashing tremendous force. In order to do this though, especially with Gambit, we generally want to... Uh, be able to give up initiative, right? So we try to uh, put most of our points early into one location, like especially with the Sarah Onslaught setup. And then we uh, we leave a location open, you know, to go for the Wong combo. But we try to stay behind because if we allow our opponent to reveal their cards before us, our Gambit can potentially hit everything. So 
everything else about this deck is aiming to like make it as consistent and as efficient as possible. We have Wave as well. Wave is a three drop, so Wave gets buffed by Silver Surfer. That's already very neat. Wave allows us to play Onslaught on four, because if we don't have magic, what we can do is we can Wave into Onslaught, we can Sarah into the Onslaught location, and then it's turn six and we can vomit out our entire hand. We have Brud. Brud is here to take the buffs from Silver Surfer. Uh, we have Crystal. Crystal is there because he's a three drop that can allow us to find our combo pieces. A pretty, very important card here uh, as it allows us to cycle through our deck uh, as it is very important for us to find either Gambit or Silver Surfer and also extremely important for us to find Wong. We can win without Wong thanks to the likes of Absorbing Man and our uh, Silver Surfer game plan that we can go for as well because we can be somewhat of a standard Silver Surfer Sarah deck too. We can function like that. We have the key pieces for it. But um, we generally uh, have a much, you know, we have a much higher power uh, cap with Wong in the mix. As then we're playing Swarm. Like I said earlier, we don't really want to be developing Swarm. We're playing Swarm, so we have endless fuel for Gambit. Uh, before, as you, you will see at the beginning of this video, I, I was at first, instead of running Crystal, I was playing Swarm and Apocalypse to make it so that... Uh, I could consistently uh, find, you know, a discard fodder for Gambit, but I realized that Crystal kind of like helped fulfill that purpose because she helps us cycle through our deck and find our key pieces and uh, otherwise, and also giving us a play to make at uh, turn three or four of the game while developing a butterfly Silver Surfer is just fundamentally way more useful and reliable than something like uh, Apocalypse. Uh, the reason why I chose Swarm over Apocalypse is because I can, in a pinch, play Swarm. If I'm not going to go for the game and play, it's going to be a Silver Surfer game. I can develop Swarm as a two energy, three power play. Or with Sarah, like just one energy can help us with that little bit of power boost that can be useful in that regard. Unlike Apocalypse in which would, you know, which we rarely would ever be able to play it. So this uh, deck is highly optimized and it puts in the work. And it's, it's, it's it, it was honestly one, some of the most fun I've had in Marvel Snap in quite a while. And today's video is uh, one of my personal favorites. So I think you guys are going to really like it. And I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for daily Marvel Snap content. Hope you enjoy today's games. Leave, leave a like for Gambit, ex especially the Exodia moments. You'll see what I'm talking about. And yeah, enjoy the games. Like I said, have a whole day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Miguel Crystal f uh, instead of Brood. Honestly, I can see myself doing that, yes. Crystal instead of Brood. We are a combo deck after all. It's really important for us to find our pieces. And it's not like Ben Brood is essential here. But god damn, I got that Kim Jacinto Ben Brood. I gotta I gotta I gotta use that a bit, you know what I'm saying? We got Wave into Onslaught. And an Isle of Silence. Let's see what the last location is. I, just, I hope they're not actually playing Legion. Like that avatar uh, makes me a little bit worried because they could be playing Legion. That's an early Falcon. The Bifrost, huh? Good combo there. How much disruption could they actually have here? Behold my mighty hand. This gives me an extra turn to draw. Oh no, is that like a... Could they be playing Red Guardian here? Beast? Of course. I can still, I can still like, Mystique into Gambit. 
probably um, is mistaken to gam mistaken to gambit is more right like as long as it can't change this location all on limbo that's kind of scary angela you jeff what is that okay N nico was like the, the the biggest threat there It's Mystique Gambit, right? Shang-Chi there. All right, here we go. My turn. Gambas! Gambas! Here we go. <laughs> Booyah! Come on, we need to clear. We need to clear that falcon, and a little bit more from you know the other sides. Okay, Jeff dead. Are are we still gonna? I don't, I, okay, okay. Atlantis is cleared. I repeat, Atlantis is clear. Over. How about we hit that Angela? How about we hit that? Oh, kitty, yeah, fuck kitty pride. I am reborn. GG no re. The idea is is we set up uh, like Mobius changed our game plan. You you, you need to, to keep that in mind, Chip God. The, if it wasn't for Mobius, I would have just dumped everything on the last turn. Like I I gener I want to onslaught Sarah most of the time, not not that way. But given the matchup, we we adjusted right. But the idea is we're able to burst on them. I think so. So do you guys think we take out Brood for Crystal? I I can see that honestly. Dracula could also fit, yeah. But but the the thing, guys, is like. I'm not going to end up with a situation where Dracula... And I'm, I'm also playing Swarm. So, no, Dracula is not a fit. We just use Apocalypse and Swarm as a way to... Uh, to guarantee that Gambit always has cards to throw. We can't, we can't get greedy and be like, Oh, well, now I want to put in Dracula. And because that means we have to take out Swarm. And that means our Gambit is less consistent. You know what I'm saying? Mobius would be would be oh you mean Morbius not Mobius. Okay, so we don't have wave. We don't we don't have magic. Not looking good. But we can still believe we have Ben Brud. We have Ben Brud. The only the only hope here. We got a Wong this turn. Actually, undo, undo, because because Dream Dimension is gonna end up somewhere else. So we got a Wong. Yeah, it's Wong in the middle. This could be like a a Phoenix Force deck, and this is what we want. We want greedy decks. Okay, there we go. Good top deck. Good top deck. Because then we can Onslaught into the Wong location, and then we can Mystique into our reveal effect on turn 7. What I'm, what I'm banking on is uh, the fact that this deck like, is going to run less, less interaction. Like, what disruption does, does, does this archetype run, guys? But we need to top deck. We cannot top if we top deck wave, it's over. It needs to be Silver Surfer or Gambit. Silver Surfer or Gambit. Okay, there we go. 
Um, I don't know how much this is, but it seems like a shitload. Like, Wong into Onslaught, Onslaught, like, Onslaught, Onslaught, Wong? It's only plus 16 on the left. Wait, wait. Is it? So, Wong means on review effects here happen four times. On review effects happen eight times. But if I if I brood into surfer, if I brood into surfer, can I I I, I don't buff the middle. This is not enough. I I want to test this. I want to see how strong this is. That it? Okay, there we go. <laughs> math. Victory. Don't do math, guys. Fuck math. Win. And when 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 gritty strategies arise, decks like these. This is just it's, fundamentally. This is just a different variant of Living Tribunal. Uh oh. Ouch, okay. Double daredevil. Mm, this may be tricky. Considering we have a very limited board space. Problem is they could easily um oh okay okay so if we do this can't um but then uh three two two we can still do that so I can Sarah here and uh, we yeah they, okay they just lock us out okay. But don't you just like lose? Omega lol? You didn't really think that through, did you? <laughs> you know, you know, you know what happened? You know what happened? They thought I was going to play into Sinister London. If they play into Sinister London, that, that is a game-winning play. But because I didn't play into Sinister London, I won. <laughs> Lazy asshole. I hate him. Like, really? Out of all the five drops in that particular scenario, you had to give them Leech? To be fair, that game was, was kind of, like, depressing. Because... Because, you know... Central Park. God, Central Park is annoying. Face 
the might of Asgard, Mjolnir! As usual, I'm, I'm worried about Mobius. Okay, that's fine. I saw Quake and my, my heart stopped for a second, but that's fine. That's fine. Behold my mighty hand. Everything's free, and we got that swarm ready. Okay, so what do we need to beat? I mean, you go here, because we want to undo Lizard as well. We go Brud, we go Wong, we go Mystique, we go Gambit. And uh, we go Surfer, or, or we go, or we go Absorbing Man. We just kill them all. This is four procs. One, two, three, four. This will proc another four. In hindsight, they don't want to play, like, if they have something like Cosmo, they don't want to play it on this location. They already have a three drop in this location. Oh, baby. Here we go. Let's clean up, shall we? We're actually, we have, we have exactly the procs for everything on the board. <laughs> Gamba. Gamba's in the chat now. They all die! <laughs> Main character. Cleaning up. Um. But wait, there's more. Kill that frog. Snipe the frog. Let's go. Will Thor be the last? Thor may be the last frog standing. How about we hit the hammer first? What? Hammer or frog? Who who goes down first? Oh, just the hammer. Oh, this is so VM. <laughs> Easy. Chat, I'm new here. Is this streamer crazy? Uh, no, 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 no. No, I'm, 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 I'm very mentally stable. Don't worry. Oof, 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 this curve. Oh, my. Oh, meu Deus. Oh, meu Deus. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's control the nut a little bit. I see Quake. This could be a control deck, and they could play Mobius on curve, and then all of our hopes and dreams are just, just it's done. But so far, so good. Behold his mighty hands. Hand. 
And now that this location is, is complete, unless they play something like Legion, we are completely safe from location disruption. And now we do this. guy's saying cerebro 3 like the, the, the cerebro 3 doesn't play quake and killmonger like you all just see like three cards with three power You're like cerebro 3 it's like guys please it was never cerebro 3 this is control this is sarah control it's very clearly sarah control Okay, so we don't have Wong, but we do have the ability to vomit out points. So we go Brut here. We go Brut here, and then we go... We have... um. How many points do we need to get ahead here? Yeah, this will, we'll, we'll go up to 11. It will be at 11, and then we can develop a unit here. I think um, I think we want to copy you, so we're gonna go gambit here. Oh. No, we need a non a non consequential one. So let's put you there, gambit there, silver surfer here. So this is three, five, twelve, twelve plus six, eighteen. We do need this to proc. So Jane over there. Okay. Here we go. My turn. We got the middle though. We got the middle uh, uh, though. Yeah. GG no re. Victory. Valarion. Okay. We got Crystal here, which we can use to cycle. Low Doug. We got Brud. We can clog this location. We have um, we have the storm for gambit, and we have onslaught, which is nice. <sighs> New York is neat too. New York opens up routes. I'm gonna play um, asteroid though. Crawler, Shuri. We need Wong. Wong, please. Wong. Oh, fuck me. Okay. All right. Okay, so we kind of need to hit that Red Hulk. So we have to bend Brute here. 
There's no use for this mystique, unfortunately. So we have to bend brute here. And we need to uh, wave. Bend brute wave. And then here it's about gambit. It's about gambit. It's about silver surfer. And it's about absorbing man. And swarm. Mystique is more than swarm. Because of double this. Well, we need to hit one of the big two. Fucking Taskmaster. We need to hit one of the big two. In this Gambit, we trust. In this Gambit, we trust. Gambit. Gambit. Make a miracle for us. Gambit, make a miracle for us. Gambit, I believe. Gambit, I believe. Gambit, I believe. No! Oh! Shit. Imagine we had Wong, bro. Imagine we had Wong. This game is so over. This game is so over, Wong! I, 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 I'll never forgive you, Wong. If I had Wong, oh my god, this Gambit would just clean up the, the, the board. Doug, thank you for the tier 1 sub. DB Men, thank you for the 8 months. 8 months. Huge arigato. Okay, we got Wave into Onslaught. Double Howard. Guys, that means they're going to be able to look at the top two cards over the deck. Wait, wait, wait. I see it. <laughs> Why do I see this? Uh, that means they have a Mobius. Right? Okay, never mind. Uh, that's perfect. Okay, that seemed perfect. Problem is, I need to play into Crimson Cosmos, otherwise I don't. So I, I gotta play Onslaught here. But Onslaught just for Sarah just feels kind of bad. But if I do this... No, I think, I think the Doug is... I think the Duck is just bugged. We know they have a Shang-Chi. Okay, Dr. Octopus ruined this. <laughs> we hit Howard, really? Yeah, okay. We got, we got YOLO'd. We got YOLO'd. Escaped. That was a perfect Dr. Octopus. Yeah, Bird would also prevent them a lot, true. But I could have powered through Bird. Opponent snapped. I really want to prevent them from playing something into Machine World and, and fucking up my hand in the process. Uh, lol. You're a magic deck, but what kind of magic deck are you?
hold my mighty hand. This is the kind of matchup I wanted to see. You hold my mighty hand. Okay. Can we hit the, the Cosmo? Or that! There we go! How about Cosmo? Cosmo! Okay, okay, I'll take it. Alright, alright, alright with the Cosmo Tech. But not the right place. GG Novi. Mm. Combo decks in 2024, am I right? I, I am running into more disruption than I expected. Uh but I, I still I still think it's a it's a good time to play this deck. You just have to like take the L's and then go for the big win. It's a different way of like, we, we don't care about win rate with this deck. We care about cube rate, right? We're not climbing, but we're not like declimbing. We just need to, we, we need to avoid the two, the two cube. Like the hard thing is to avoid the, the two cube losses, right? That's like the, that's a tough thing with this deck. Like losing one cube instead of two. We know Lady Deathstrike is a thing, so we're just not gonna, we're literally like we literally do not have to actually we do have to play stuff um that is annoying the central park completely ruins us i kind of have to play this venom because i also am overdrawing because of daily bugle I'm gonna play Absorbia, man. Clear up the space. As we find Sarah, just in time. Uh, where are we playing Sarah? Probably in the location. Mm. Maybe just reinforcing here. A little bit of extra muscle in a location where we're already ahead. There's the Lady Death Strike clearing up the board space for us. And now they have no disruption. So we want a couple of um wanna play you here. We wanna play you here and wave as well. I don't think they have more disruption. I and mean, we haven't seen it from them. Besides Lady Death Strike, everything else is proactive. So with Crystal, we'll draw two cards. We already have the Silver Surfer. Ideally, we find the Gambit as well. They can still Zola. Yes. Uh, Victory. GG. Got him. See, I told you. I told you next time we would win. I, I don't know. Like, I, I have a lot of fun playing this. Okay, imagine imagine taking your win rate and your cube rate and all that shit in a game like Marvel Snap, seriously? Like who who the fuck are you fooling? You're you're literally playing the least competitive card game in existence. Like chill, bro. Just have fun. Hello, deck. Oh, 
Mm, that was probably not appropriate, actually. And um, while there is a limbo, we have no... Yeah, we fucked this up. But because we didn't find we didn't find the pieces is a problem. We did not find the pieces. But what if we do this into this into this? We clear their board and then they got to beat all that. Let's roll it. Clean up. Clean up on aisle. On all fucking three. Uh, the problem is we don't have a lot, a lot of points in, in the center or on the right. So we probably still lose. like our easiest matchup realistically and and we actually low rolled really bad on that one because we didn't we didn't get to, to the setup but the only thing we gotta worry about with hella is um oh that also said though the only thing we gotta wor worry uh, with hella is magneto magnetos our only worry but because we want to give away initiative and we want to go like and we want to make pull the combo out of nowhere We can navigate around it. Okay, there's Ben Brud. We skip our first couple of turns. We may be developing Crystal here to cycle through the deck. It's it's a it's a Phoenix Force deck. They ain't got no disruption. Energy is important. One, two, three, four, five, six. But right now, this is actually like, this is a detriment, and I don't want to get, I don't want to make it that easy for them to just like start generating energy nonstop. So we're gonna get rid of this newer dimension. Nico's already been played, so Limbo's fine. We drew Wong. We drew Wong. We're gonna crystal over here. They have the combo. Actually, do I need to play Sarah here? Yeah. Spider. Jin into what is that? Deathlock. Creating some space. There's the onslaught.
You don't have Swarm. If we don't draw Swarm... You, hold my mighty hand. you don't have Swarm. Please. Well, first of all, let's clear the entire board. Then we, uh, we do this. Into this. Into this. I know, I know Nimrod is a thing. What is that last card? Iron Lad? Okay, here we go. You made the wrong decision. I'm a little bit nervous though, because if we start, if we, like, it depends on the order. Ah, Nimrod first! Nimrod first! Gambit, you beast! Gambit, you beast! What did I do? Oh my, oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> deleted! Deleted! Oh, man, Tails. Oh! Booyah. Mmm. <laughs> that could have gone very differently, actually. Lil Hisoka. Where you, what are you playing, Lil Hisoka? You have any tech cards, Lil Hisoka? You better hope you do. Let's get some intel. We get we get Sarah. They get uh, we get Hit Monkey. Okay, okay, no disruption. No, no, you're a bounce deck. You're a bounce deck, and you got shit. You ain't got shit. You hear me? You ain't got fucking shit. I'm gonna wave into Sarah. Why would you bounce bust? Um. Okay. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Bird on the left. Worried about them having something to get rid of Limbo, but that's a risk I'm willing to play. I'm willing to take. Okay, that's not the that's not the thing. This may be an Annihilus. Can they afford Annihilus? I don't think. Oh, Sarah, yes, they can. No, no, they they, they destroyed it. Okay, they drew the entire thing. Maybe that's a beast. Uh, no, what could that be? Hit monkey. Wait, is that a? Okay, there it is. You hold my mighty hand. Okay. We have initiative, so they can't stop this. Boom. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cards. Six cards, which means um, this into this. This 
this into this into this into this into this we clear their board and then we buff everything enchantress i have initiative you papega because i don't want to lose to like a shadow king which they may play on the left so i'd rather destroy Clear their board with Gambit. Empty. Empty. My mighty hand. Damn it! Damn it, monkey! And Surfer, baby. Your go. Surprise me. Gino Re. Victory. Sexy ass game. <laughs>